Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today we are taking a look at these marvelous uh, designs. I did not do this. I brought in a community expert. Can I call you a community expert? Yeah, probably. And probably a very distinctive term, but yeah. All maybe. right. <laughs> if you don't know who that voice is, that is someone known as Sebastian, known as Sebastian, known as Seb. And uh, since the weapons DLC came out, the community workshop is littered with weapons platforms. And Seb creates a, quite a few of them. So what I thought I would do is get Seb on here to help because people have asked, how do you build a missile? How do you, how do, you do this stuff? And I have no clue. So what we're going to do is we're going to step through the process of what it takes to build a cruise missile. These are, I guess, primarily used for... What is this used for, Seb? Pretty much air to ground, ground to ground, anything that you want to hit that doesn't fly, pretty much. Okay, so are these slow or are they pretty fast? It honestly depends on what you want to go for because you can obviously have your slow subsonic ones, but I've made ones that reach Mach 4, so it depends what you really want. Oh, is that an exploit or, or is that just normal storm oh, stuff? Oh, it was a massive exploit. It oh, was okay. fixed instantly. <laughs> So I think we're going to start off by showing you some video of these things in action because we're not going to record them right now. We're going to go ahead and show you some pre-recorded destruction. And here it is. Okay, so that was pretty cool. I, I like those videos. Thank you for sharing those. No worries. <laughs> so we have two two versions here. What what are the difference between these two versions I'm looking at? Um, essentially, um, the BGM-15, which is the one on your right, that is your basic jet engine missile that I think people tended to people tended to use like before your rockets and XML boosters or that lot came to thing. But this is your basic bog standard jet engine missile. Okay. Does this but, have a warhead on here? I don't see a warhead. Um, it's hidden between oh. these boosters oh. i think yeah just out of curiosity how do you blow up your warheads is it impact or is it like location um it's i think it depends um this one i think is just con it's just impact but you can also obviously make an arming thing so it doesn't blow up unless it's a few kilometers near its target and so this one over here is not a jet engine i guess right is that what you're saying yeah this is a um, bgm 28 which is what we have used a lot and it's basically your like mainline cruise missile this is what you're like you will really want to achieve out of it almost and it's xml boosters as well which is the main thing what people use as well so okay all right so this is all rocket booster that's all it uses and once it's out of fuel it's just it's dead that's it yep pretty much um but ironically that thing here this thing has a lot more range than the BGM-15, so really goes to show. Really? Oh, because you yeah. said it's XML edited, so it's using kind of an exploit. Yep, but shush, we'll, we'll not talk about the exploit. <laughs> oh, okay. Do I edit that out or do I leave it in? No, it's funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> everyone, everyone knows about it. It's okay. because the devs, I don't know what they want to do with it, but they haven't really fixed it, so we'll just keep it. This thing here, um, it was based on a series called the CM series, which used for drag glitch exploit. And they, what I absolutely got, I've got, like, I annoys me so much because um, when we were doing weapons DLC testing, the devs, we all made a server and we all went onto it and I was with the devs and we were like, am I, am I leaving this in or cutting it out? I want to cut that out. I don't really think. <laughs> <laughs> and so, oh, so that's some inf interesting information about the devs and testing that we cut out. Okay. <laughs> So, all right, we looked at the cruise missiles. They're very cool. We've got one based on a jet engine, one based on an XML exploit that uses rocket boosters for long distance uh, attacks, I guess. Uh, it's your main example of a cruise missile. This is really what you want to achieve and go beyond that, pretty much. All right, so we are not covering air-to-air -air missiles, right? We're not doing that right now. No, because air-to-air -air missiles, unlike your cruise missiles, the guidances and different like potentials air to air missiles have it is far more expansive. Like you've got loads of different guidances. So your cruise missiles are just your basic like 
easy to get used to, so then you can like transition to doing air to air a lot okay. easier. So if this video is popular and you get a thousand likes on this video, <laughs> Seb will come back and do air to air. Can I say that? I have, I have maybe I I think I have a few friends who are a lot better than me at it. So okay, well I, maybe we'll get someone else besides Seb. We have to have a thousand likes on this video. I mean, I'm not gonna not gonna bug anybody without a thousand likes. How's that? I'm, I'm <laughs> bribing people to like this video. Okay. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty solid. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't have to worry about it for like a couple of years. So, okay. So, where do we start? Do we start with the parts or do we start with the steps? Where, where do we start here? Let's start with the um, steps. So, we have our first, like, this is your engines and, like, your fuel tanks and all that lot. What you want to okay. shove on first. Wait a minute. I must ask this question. You said that we we're going for the... Uh, rocket booster version but you're actually showing us the jet engine version it's better to you get used to jet engines first and then you can switch to your rocket boosters because the rocket boosters tend to be very like the acceleration and all that lot it is it's quite sudden and some cruise missiles based on jet guidance can't deal with it so you want to learn your jets then transition to your xml and you know what i mean carry on like developing from there all right so if you're new to this jet engine is the place to start that's what you're saying yep okay. and if you don't want to start just use a normal booster ignore this but you get what i mean but the guidance isn't all that a lot you need to really like you know yes learn but, okay so yeah. the, the engine part is the easy part and then the guidance is where we get complicated right yeah okay. your engine is fairly easy you just slap on something that makes you move all right, so let's walk through step one. What are we looking at on step one? Um, I said your basic like jet engine, like power plant. So what you usually have is your basic ramjet, which is why we have these boosters at the front as well, because your ramjets, they can't like, what would you say? They can't produce thrust when you're stationary. You need like initial thrust. Really? Yeah. So what these boosters do will fly it up to speed which means the jet engine then can kick in and get you moving. Interesting. I didn't realize that Stormworks needed to get going before it got going. Has that always been like that? If I, if you don't have, I think it is a compressor, you have to get it going before it starts going. Oh, there is no compressor. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. what makes it a ramjet. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, this is interesting. Okay. Let's keep, <laughs> let's keep going. See, this is why I'm not trying to teach you guys how to do these missiles, because I have no clue how this works. Okay, so the the rocket boosters get the initial jet moving, and then yeah. the jet engine kicks in because of the speed, and apparently the, the air is being simulated being taken into the intake, right? Yeah, pretty much. And that little motor under the there just keeps it spinning so it can keep bringing air in. Okay, so that is where you start. Okay, so moving on to step two, I guess? This is your sensors and like things that are like really important that you have. So obviously you have your altimeter, or altimeter, sorry, oops. Your tilt sensor that controls your roll, obviously, hard point, because you kind of need to carry your cruise missile. Right. You can't really have it on the floor or anything. Um, your GPS sensor that tells your cruise missile where to go and the compass sensor think what would you say just lets it know what heading it is like where it's going and obviously your battery because you need power and battery okay and so you place these on your engine build here uh does it matter like where the tilt sensor is located on the missile um no it don't matter whatsoever where these are located as long as your tilt sensor is pointing to the left because okay. You're going to use PID to keep a roll, and if you have it pointing right, the PID is going to think, oh no, I'm upside down, when it's not. And it only uses one tilt sensor? Um, yeah, pretty much. You can probably experiment with multiple, I don't know, but your basic one, just one tilt sensor pointing to your left. And what's in the front? Is this a radar? Oh yeah, your yes, radar, that will... It's not really necessary in a cruise missile, but if you want your cruise missile to hit, like, vehicles and that, you really want a radar so that it sees where to, like, hit. Okay, so I'm assuming that in your code, you're switching between a GPS location and then searching for a target? Yeah, precisely that. Okay. It's, what I think, what, what your usual one will do, which on the BGM-28 it does, is it basically says, oh, I'm within, like, five kilometers from my target, I better switch on my radar and see what's going on. 
then when it sees that target, it just switches to radar and tries to hit the target. Okay, and the, the 15 is not doing that? Uh, 15 is also doing that, um, but it does it slightly differently. It can't pitch. There is no pitch radar. There's no pitch radar, okay. So what? how does it target? Does it just... Pre-programmed, yeah. So what you'll do is you have your yaw radar so it knows where to yaw to the target, but mm -hmm. this is an anti-ship cruise missile, which means you can presume the ship will be around zero altitude. So as long as you have this missile near zero altitude, it'll hit. Okay, and is the BGM-15, is that flying straight ahead or is it going at an arch and then dropping down on the target? Uh, straight ahead, pretty much. Okay. And does the BGM-28 do a arch or is that a straight ahead kind of missile as well? It's straight ahead, but it doesn't care what altitude it is because it has a pitch radar, so we'll obviously just point out of the target no matter what. Okay. But we are strictly looking at BGM-15 in this build, right? In these samples? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay, so... Except you're using a new radar, sorry. Oh, you are using a radar, the new radar. Uh, step three. Uh, what's going on here? Your control fins. You want to get your missile to fly, you really want to have fins on it, obviously. Okay, so we've got front and back. Yeah, so... Um, a little quirk that is on these missiles is that you tend to really want to, if you have a look on the BGM-15 as an example here, mm -hmm. you have an equal amount of fins at the front and at the back of the cruise missile, and that keeps a lot of stability. So that's important, right? Even amount of fins. Yes, but here's the catch. Uh -oh. You can slightly experiment with it. So um, I obviously have like an odd amount. But because I have this solid rocket fuel fin thing, oh, yes, it, yes. it works out anyway. Okay, because you're using the fins on the rocket booster, or yeah, okay, pretty much. Does the length of the missile affect, like, I don't know, fin placement or anything like that that we have to worry about, or or I guess the code that you're going to be using to control this missile? Does this the length uh matter? No, not really. I mean, if your missile is super like long, you might want to like experiment giving it more fins. Okay. Because obviously it's a much larger, more you know, heavy thing to move. So next up is step four, which we are introducing a cruise missile guidance example microcontroller. Also yep. warheads, of course. Of course, need them. <laughs> But um, yeah, so this is just where you, um, you can shove your microcontroller anywhere, to be honest with you, but yeah, you're going to need one at the end of the day, otherwise you don't really. I thought you were being <laughs> rude to me for a second. So you can shove the microcontroller where the sun doesn't shine inside the missile. What are we hooking up to this microcontroller? Pretty much everything that's been covered on here is hooked up to the microcontroller. Okay, so GPS, we have our compass sensor, our tilt sensor, uh, our altimeter our fins and are we using the radar on this particular example yep we are okay that's important as well okay and then is it controlling the uh small electric motor as well uh yeah yes it is okay so it's doing all everything. of it is it is doing it is pretty much the brains of the missile it's doing everything okay so we're we're kind of stepping through the process of building a missile from the engines to putting all the sensors together and then we have a microcontroller that's already built by you. Are you releasing that for people to use? Yeah, I'll just release the entire thing so you can have a nice like look for yourself because I might be a little bit have I might have a tangent and all that lot, so it might be hard to understand and for some people obviously it's just better to understand through okay. like river having a look by themselves. So basically this tutorial is kind of giving people a starting point of the components that are needed to build the missile. And then you're providing an example cruise missile microcontroller yeah. that people can kind of look into, take it apart, and kind of figure out what you're doing with the math, I guess, right? Yeah, that's exactly the point because, like, it's how I started, what would you say, rummage through, like, the microcontrollers. Like, oh, what does this do? And all that lot. Okay. So this is a starting point for all you new cruise missile builders. And, uh, yeah, I would, I would just probably copy and paste the one that's on step six and call it a day. Ha! <laughs> Because <laughs> that's a working version, right? Yep, or okay. step six completely works. Okay, so what is step five doing? Body kit. It's just your aesthetics, just what you want to slap onto it. Like, 
just basically cover it in all up because you don't really want your sensors showing off because you know okay so, we like aesthetics all right here's a question i think i kind of asked this but i'll ask it again but i i didn't use this word do we care about the center of gravity um no, not really, because you're you've got an equal you've got your fins at the front and the back an equal amount. Your center of gravity is somewhere in the middle, so at the end of the day, it don't really okay. affect it much. I'm just asking because you're adding you know you're adding panels and stuff like that, which may throw off the center of gravity. Oh yeah, if you like put a lot of stuff out of the front, your cruise missile is gonna nosedive. So you really want to make sure that you kinda you know keep it All right. decent. Center. But is center the best place to have the center of gravity? Is like on a missile? Is that the best place? Uh, yeah, I would say so. I might be completely wrong in it because, but from what I've done personally through cruise missiles and that, that's usually the best place for it. Okay, so step six is basically you just painted it all up, and this is what our missile looks like, right? Yep, it's your basic like it. It works. <laughs> okay, so here is a question you mentioned when I said, hey. Uh, can you come on and do this tutorial? You said that a lot of people don't know that these don't these don't automatically just work right out of the box. You have to tune them, right? Yes. Um, I went well for ex well for this one, uh, the BGM fifteen and that all that works instantly. And for this one as well, everything works. I've added little sliders and that to them. So if you want to like change some stuff, see what it does. Like, you can change your altitude, you can change your PID sensitivity, just see what each thing does and how the cruise missile kind of reacts to that. Okay. So, basically, this chip is already set up for this missile, so if I were to download this tutorial uh, platform, whatever, I could copy and paste this missile, I could fire it off, and it would automatically just work um yeah you really want to make sure that you are also sending it gps because you as you can just fire it but it's not really going to go anywhere so you really want to send it um is it x and y on your composite to it and it'll go oh i know where to go now but that's just you from like a keypad or something like okay that. so this tutorial is missing step seven which is i guess the launcher part right oh yeah um yeah, I actually might slap that on at the end, to be honest with you, but um, yeah, so you want your launcher is not equally as important, but it's got some importance to it in that you want to make sure you're sending the cruise missile where okay. to go. Okay, so when Seb uploads this to the workshop, he's going to add a launcher example, I guess, to this little platform yeah. here, and then you'll be able to see how this all works. But do we have some working examples that we can look at right now? Um, yeah, absolutely. I'll go and grab one. All right, cool. So Seb has loaded a truck. Is this does this have a cool name, Seb? It's called the Avast. <laughs> the what? The Avast. The Avast. Um, we hey. named we named it after the antivirus. Oh, okay. Who's we, by the way? Um, Nuki. Nuki. Oh, is that how you say that? It's not Nuki. Yeah. Nuki. Oh Jesus Christ! No, it's Nuki, please. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right. So, uh, you are in a. Are you in one group or are you in several groups? Tell the truth. I'm only in one. Oh, you're only in one. So you're only in Nuki. Yep. Okay. And they build weapon systems and do, is it basically just all weapons? Um, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, there's a wide variety of different things. You've got your boats, your helicopters, hovercraft, skid loader. Oh, did that automatically <laughs> shut? That's cool. Oh yeah. It automatically does it, which is cool. Um, oh, is it based on the seat? Oh, that? that's nice. I don't have to worry about buttons. Okay, what are we doing? Trying to get into drive. There we go. We're on the move now. All right. So what is... What's on the back of this? What am I looking at? Um, That's your cruise missile control center, pretty much. That's everything that you need for it to um, work. Like, all your bits and bobs right there. Okay. So on the tutorial that you're uploading, though, you'll have, like, a simplified version of this, right? Oh, yeah. This is massively, like... We, what we wanted from it is like, oh, let's add like touchscreen bits and all that lot, but your actual thing, you just need a keypad and a launch button. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you need to make these things for dummies like me. Oh, this thing is not going into gear. Bro, what is wrong with this? What are you, like first oh. gear the whole time here? Yeah, it's just... Oh, no. God knows what it's doing. So, obviously, Sebastian does not build engines. I just want to mention that right here, right now. Full liability claim, I didn't make the truck. I just made the launch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Hang on, let so, me... oh. All right. 
God knows what it's doing. Right, well we're here now, so I'm just gonna not I'm just gonna ignore it for now. Okay. Alright, so we have loaded a Liberty ship way out there. I don't know how far it is. I didn't measure, and I'm not good with math. So, is it far wait, what am I trying to say? Is it far enough away? Uh yes, I would say that's fairly solid distance. Okay. So do we have to have this engine on? It's kinda of driving me crazy. Uh nah. All right, Just cool. So I'm in front of a console here. Is this what I want to use? Uh, yes, that is exactly what you want to use. Okay, station power, I assume. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Okay. The ship is way... Wait, what is that line that's being drawn on the screen? Uh, that's where your target right now is. So your target is zero, zero. So it's going to be pointing at zero, zero. So Wait. once you input your waypoint in... Oh, so I have to find the ship on the map, right? Yeah, so just... Okay, so slap a waypoint on the map, I, uh, I was smart yeah. and told the uh, game to show where it's at. But uh, how would you do this if you were like playing multiplayer with everything off? Would you have a rangefinder or something? Um, you can. Um, I'm gonna shift in here. Uh, you can use stuff like this as well, where you use targeting mode. Where if I click here, oh. that's now set a waypoint there. Wait, how did it know to go there? Uh, touch screen. It's. Um, I have. I, I didn't make this bit. In particular, the touchscreen bit that was made by one of our friends called Poles. Oh, okay, but, but we don't it's... we don't know where the target is yet on the screen though. Uh, no, you'd probably like need a radar truck or something like. You oh, know. a separate thing. Okay, Ooh, this yeah. gets so complicated. I thought the missiles that's... were hard. <laughs> that's exactly what happens. Okay, so if I go ahead and use the waypoint thing and cheat because we don't have a, <laughs> a radar truck. Uh, okay, I put it in there, but nothing happened on the screen. What I miss? Input. Um, if you look to your top right, input keypad waypoint. You slap that in, and it'll update itself. Input. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, now if we now zoom it... out, I guess. There it is. Yep. It's way out there. Does it say how far it is? Is, is it? Um. Is it twelve? No, but no. you have like that's just your reference. Okay. So that's how far out you zoomed out. Okay. And then what do I do next to fire this thing? Um, you probably want to extend the launcher and stabilizers before doing anything. Ah, uh, where's that at? Is that here? Uh, to your uh, bottom off. left. Bottom left, okay. Let's see, uh, extend launcher first, I guess? Uh, yeah. Okay, it goes up. Oh, okay, how many... Oh, look at that! There's four in here? Yeah. Oh, okay. This should be fun. Four. Extend stabilizers, what are those? Oh, look, the little ground things. Oh, Just keep them stabilized. Yep. <laughs> okay, and that looks good. What else is there? Um, You want to turn on your master arm, which is your top right as well. What is radar patrol waypoint? Target GPS waypoint. What's that? I. Okay, so um, you're on radar patrol right now, which means when the cruise missile gets within a few kilometers, it's going to turn on its radar and patrol for um, targets. Oh, okay. But, but if you press this, you're going to switch to um, direct hit waypoint, which means you're going to hit that waypoint directly. It's not going to turn on its radar. Okay, so what you were saying about this missile, though, it does not pitch up and down. It Can it go left and right, then? It can pretty much do anything. It's just our mainline one, so it'll, it'll hit. It's got its radar, so... Oh, this one does have pitch control? Yeah, it's oh. the BGM-15, which has the... Oh, okay, what are these? 28, you said? Got yeah. It. Okay, alright, master arm. Um, this is just so you keep it in mind, but you've got your pylons here, so you can switch to each um, pylon, so when you fire one, you just click pylon increase, and then you fire the other one, and okay. so on. Okay, and where's fire? Fire selected oh, pylon. Oh, fire selected right pylon, okay. Alright, am I going to be fast enough to see this hit? Whoa! And there. off it goes. There it goes. It Extended gonna... its wings, it on its way. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll really guess. be embarrassed if it doesn't. Points in the way here. Yeah, it's seen the target, I'm pretty sure. I am crossing fingers so bad right now. Yep, hit. Oh, I couldn't see it. The waypoint's in the way. Let me clear that waypoint. There's the waypoint! So did this... Oh! Ooh. There it goes, the boom. Yep, it, it hit. Fire. Oh! Run out! They also have little extendable wings. Okay, Just Ooh. for the aesthetics. Look at that. I'm using the... Uh, Binoculars. Really useful. Who knew? 
Okay, here it goes. It's going down. Target. Oh, it uh, looks like it hit at the bottom of the ship already. Yeah, it's hitting like right at the bottom side. Wow. That was lovely. Uh, they'll always target the center of mass, usually, if it's a radar guided one, so it's probably gone for oh, center how, of mass. Which is... How does it know where the center of mass is? Um, I have no idea. It's just Stormworks Dev's radar moment. Oh, okay. It's like by default. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's pretty cool. So this is uh, available on the workshop if you guys want to download and try this. But what I think you want to start with is the tutorial um, platform that he'll be uploading, and it will include a simplified launcher. And and what would the simplified launcher, you know, look like, Seb? Um, probably nothing too complex or like nothing with wheels or anything. Just a little platform, nice little launcher, fire button, keypad, sorted. All right, guys, so before we go, we wanted to check out one more weapon system. This is not released on the workshop yet, right, Seb? No, this one is still a massive work in progress. <laughs> oh, a work in progress. Okay, so it looks similar, but there's something different going on. By the way, we quickly found out that there is a bug from last Friday that Clara did mention. If you have any kind of, like, uniforms or whatever on your build, when you spawn it, I don't know if it's only multiplayer or if it's in single player as well, but half the vehicle will disappear. Blocks will disappear. So maybe they'll fix that before the end of this week. Yeah, so this is not part of the tutorial. This is just showing off a weapon system. And the reason we wanted to show this is because it launches in a different way than the cruise missiles do. Indeed. What would, quite different. What would you call this? What is this called? I think the catchphrase for it is called Brahmos style. So it launches like a Brahmos missile, which is used in real life. Okay, wait, where's the controls on this one? On the, uh, this one's got its own, like, independent system, so if you come to the back, on the right, you'll okay. see the ladder. <laughs> the ladder, oh, <laughs> I yes. I think that wasn't working. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a ladder, I knew that. Oh, look at this, wow, this is neat, we go into a little room. Okay, and station power. this one has its own independent radar system as well, so you can kind of figure out where things are without that. Oh, without... A waypoint? Yeah, I wouldn't suggest using it right now, though, because oh, okay. my mate is still, like, working on improving it. So right. you're better off just cheating for now. Alright, so I'm going to just put the waypoint right back again where it was. Uh, I don't know if the ship is still alive, but... I'll have a check for you. Yeah, it's looking quite alive, a bit back heavy, but floating. Okay. Can I see it? Oh, yeah, I can see it. Okay. Yeah, it's a little bit low in the water. But what we really want to show you about this weapon system is the way that it launches. And so I'm going to go ahead and arm, I guess. And Don't you want to put your weight of your input uh, keypad? Oh, and do I want to put these stabilizers out, probably? Yeah, I put the waypoint in. Got that. Oh, I have to actually hit the button to oh, send it. You need okay. to press stabilizers again. And do what? You need to press stabilizers again. You retracted them. Oh, I did? Oh, did you put them down already? Okay. Yeah, uh, put them down in the cab. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, you know what? Let me step out and you go ahead and launch it because I want people to see what this does. I am so crossing thing fingers this thing works first try. Otherwise, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Right. Okay, it goes. Okay, it's tilting back. It's Oh, it's going all the way to the ground. Flat. Wow. Okay. Now what? Yep. Um, let me set a waypoint in, make sure everything's sorted, yes. And? And I am ready, so give me the notion and I'll fire. Alright, kill that ship. Fire! On its way. Whoa! Whoa, it's fast. Supersonic. Okay. Hopefully that thing hits because it's, it's low in the water. low in the water. Looks like it hit. Oh yeah, it hit. Wow. How how does it do that? Is it using a rocket booster to start it, and then what happens? Um. Yeah, it's using another booster to flip it around. I'll show you again if you try and look at. And it's a fast launch sequence, mind you. But if you have a quick look, okay. you might be able to see what's going on. All right, I'm gonna stand right. Like right under it here. All right. Launch number two. Uh. Now on its way. Oh, okay, there's a rocket booster on the top. Yeah, flips it over, sends it on its way. All right. 
So this is not available yet on the workshop, but when it does, you'll want to be subscribed to the, I guess, the weapons pack, right? I think the missiles themselves also might be shown on the weapons pack as well, depends, but yeah. Uh, this will be released in a bit once all the problems are solved, like the ladder. <laughs> all right, well, thanks, Seb, for joining us. Um, if you want to find out where to find all of these great things, the links will be in the description to the workshop for the weapons pack. For the tutorial, which will include a launcher that Seb is going to add before he um, uploads it. And there will also be a link to the Discord for Nuki, which is a group that he belongs to where they build um, different yep. weapon systems. And of course, we have Seb's YouTube channel, which I don't... Do you upload regularly, or how's that work? Uh, I don't really upload too regularly. I might like upload one or two videos like as a quick like tutorial on how to use stuff, but I don't really use it too often. But it's fair. Oh, wait, the ship is gone. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah, we it's gone. It. Let's go. All right, nice job. All right, so that is it for today. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below. All right, Seb, <laughs> thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Seb. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do you, oh. do you want me to send you the file, and if you want to try and, like, thing it, because it's just... I don't know what it's doing. That is... Oh, it's a bug. It's real. What it, is it? So, oh. Clara found out the bug on Friday. We were testing things and blocks would disappear. If you have if you have armor uh, or, 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 or outfits on this thing, like... Yes, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah delete them. What is it? Yeah. How the fuck have they done that? D yeah, delete the uniform. Yeah, I've just seen them now. How the bloody hell have they broken that? I don't know. See, I she was right because I was like, I was like, oh, this is a cool update with cranks and stuff. And then at the end of the Friday video, I'm like, see, they dropped the ball again. What are they doing? Test this crap. <laughs> is it here now? I can't. Uh, I, I heard it click. I oh, it's behind me. I can't. Yeah, it's is complete. It, is it? Yeah.